morning cactus people uh, we've just got a straightforward repotting today this is um, a golem it's a crassula jade called golem apparently something to do with Lord of the Rings but I don't know anything about that sort of rubbish so I'm sure someone will uh, this I think it's in the pot we got it in so it uh, <coughs> badly needs a repot I've chosen this one, a bit of drainage, a bit of a crop for drainage in the bottom and he looks like just about the right size for it. And I've also got these cuttings I took um, a month or two ago which I've given them a little tug and there seems like there's some resistance but <coughs> I'm going to be having a look at those live on the camera, I've not actually dug any up yet. But first off, I've got some Ziggy's number one cactus with just about 50-50 added grit. Nicely mixed up there. So a bit in the bottom. <coughs> Offer the pot up so you get an idea of the level. That's just about right. Let's scoop it out a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, that looks that looks good. So let's uh, gently get him out of the pot. He's been in there for quite a while, so I'm assuming it's going to be quite pot bound in there. And no, he's not too bad. Let's have a quick look round. No, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong, and it's not actually crowding the pot though, which is quite a surprise. Uh, so I won't disturb that, um, so it's not showing any signs of suffering, so I'm not going to disturb the roots looking for mealybugs or anything. And I do treat the um, plants for mealybugs with um, bug clear, which has had surprising results. You pour the stuff on and uh, just watch them crawl out of the pots to die. Uh, plants you would think didn't have any on there. It's been quite a surprise. Let's put this all around. Try not to make too much of a mess, but I normally do. It's not too bad. The idea of this repotting is I'd like to put him outside for the summer. Uh, but in a plastic pot, he would just um, get blown over every time the wind comes up. And I don't know about where you are at the moment, but here it's been constantly north winds, north and east winds for months and months. It's the middle of summer. It's not warm out there at all. Not very nice. Okay, that looks good. Let's, uh, press him down a little bit to steady him. And for a, a top dressing, I've got some nice granite chips here. Not only will these uh, keep the weeds, weeds down and keep the water away from the uh, base of the, the plant, they also look nice and pretty. Adam was asking this morning about <coughs> if I put all my plants in a mineral substrate. Uh, I only use grit for, repos uh, for taking cuttings. Uh, but I do dress, top dress um, most of the pots and the beds have got a top dressing of um, dark grit on them as well. So that looks alright there. Uh, what I will do is go around and take all the um, dead leaves off before uh, putting it outside. But uh, that aside, he looks nice. Put the label back in. Let's have a little look. And these at uh, these plants here, that's from the tray. <coughs> and so I've not taken any of these cuttings out, and I've not done any cuttings from a, a golem before. So this could be interesting. I need a pokey stick. Oh yes, we do have some small roots on there which is excellent. I won't get them all out as they are all showing resistance. Ooh, accidentally pulled that one out. 
small roots on there so I'll pot all these up individually once I've finished the video put that to one side another look at the golem I think it looks rather nice and that looks like a, a small bonsai tree doesn't it This is the place I had in mind when I said I was going to put him outside the cactus house on the top of the old chimney pot. And there's a few other succulents which uh, will stay outside for the summer just to brighten up the entrance a little bit. Now, of course these will all go back inside before winter comes. Thank you for watching.